Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. Now today I have for you a Fable deck. Now this deck is pretty fun, it plays a little bit like uh, Dark Worlds, they're not as OP and not as wallet, uh, but it's still a very fun deck, I wanted to try them out, you know, once we got the new box. And um, the main uh, engine for this deck is a pretty expensive card unfortunately in Snipe Hunter. We use three of them because uh, Snipe Hunter can activate or can trigger um, most of the Fable monsters' effects. Uh, really, being Fable uh, Ganashia and uh, Fable Luri, which are both special summon uh, from the graveyard whenever they're discarded. Uh, the Fable Ganashia gets a 200 attack boost, which is really good. And the cool thing is that uh, you can set up some really quick OTKs with Snipe Hunter. If you um, use Snipe Hunter's effect, discard the Fable, uh, Ganashia, you destroy the monster, destroy the back row, whatever's in your way, uh, then you get to, you know, special summon Ganashia. And if you can clear the field that way, you can finish the game pretty easily. We have uh, Fable Solkius, Solkius, which is a pretty cool card. If this card's in your graveyard, you can send two cards except uh, itself from your hand to the graveyard to special summon it from the graveyard. Now that effect can be really clutch when you have uh, cards that are quote unquote dead in your hand. Uh, something like Bacon Saber that you don't really want in, your, in the hand, you want it in the grave. Uh, it, and you know, it's a it's a special summon, so it's good in that sense. A 2200 beater. The only downside to this card is that it makes uh, Fable Ganashia and Fable Lurry miss timing, which is very unfortunate. And I'm, I honestly don't understand why. I mean, I understand the ruling. I don't understand why a Fable monster would not, you know, have synergy with the other Fable monsters. But that's, you know, a debate for another time. And the boss monster here is going to be Fable Dianyra, which is an 8-star um, light fiend monster. And it's really cool because you can tribute some on the card by tributing one Fable monster instead of two. So if you have something like Dark World Dealings and you can send either Lurie or uh, Ganashia into the grave, you can then just tribute it for uh, Dianyra. And it has an effect which, uh, once per turn, the effect of the first normal spell card your opponent activates becomes your opponent discards one card. So, unfortunately there's not a, you know, a lot of good normal spells. Most of your better spells are going to be quick plays. So, uh, but there was an instance in which Fable Dianara negated, not negated, but you know, it, it changed the effect of a giant true nade, and I had my econ set, so that was pretty clutch. Other than that, the effect is not too relevant. It's mainly here because it's just a big beater. We have the Bacon Saber that I already went over as a tech. Uh, two Dark World Dealings. I did get my second one, which is nice. Uh, three enemy controllers for those econ cheese plays. That's another way of taking advantage of the special summoning of someone like your know, Fable Lurie, you special summon that, Econ Cheese, and then go for game. And then I threw in one Call of the Archfiend because it will also uh, trigger the effects of Ganashia and uh, Lurie, and you can bring back your uh, Solkius and your Dianara. I'm using the Tide That Binds because I wanted to uh, play this deck on Jesse so I could level him up, but something like Restart might even be better so that you can guarantee your Snipe Hunter uh, You know, at the beginning of the duel. But let's go ahead and go over the replays. I haven't been able to play much, I've uh, been really busy at work, so that's why you haven't seen uh, you know, a ton of videos for me. I do also want to grind out the KC Cup, at least to get to stage 2, I'm currently at DLV uh, 15, and I think I'll save uh, the other 5 for uh, tomorrow's stream on Friday. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Uh, we'll see what kind of deck takes me there. Um, let's hope it's not like King of Games and we actually get there this time. We're going up against uh, Taya Gardner here. Snape Hunter and, and Dual Standby, you know, just don't mix. It, I'm gonna get the advantage. I throw my Bacon Saber. And Snipe Hunter did not betray me, my boys. You guys know Snipe Hunter likes to betray me every now and then. But here, two effects, two good rolls, three effects, another good roll. Can we go 4 4 4, my boys? And the answer is yes. 4 4 4 on the effects. Unfortunately, I'm short uh, 300 life points. So my opponent does get to top deck uh, a card. Can we make it 5 for 5? Yes we can. 5 for 5 from Snipe Hunter. That is unheard of for you boy. 
uh, I, you know, I summoned my uh, Dianara just for the, for the BM really. But the one had been dual uh, in the first turn whenever I just completely destroyed his field. I'm gonna be against Pegasus now. Let me know, by the way, how how is the Casey Cup going for you guys? Uh, I'm already loving uh, all the gems we're getting. Uh, between leveling up Jesse and the KC Cup and then that 7 duel uh, event thing that also gave us a bunch of gems I'm I'm almost at 2000 gems so definitely gonna open some more packs to see if I can get more uh, mass change I still only have the one which is very sad but here we're going up against Pegasus once again we have Snipe Hunter to start the duel so we're gonna get rid of uh, Dianara destroy the monster and this was activatable the whole time so I decided not to try to destroy it we're actually going up against some fables. Uh, I'm gonna activate Call of the Archfiend right here because of the uh, you know the hate runate. I keep calling it giant runate. I just wish it was giant runate. But anyway, during the end phase, I'm going to summon my uh, Dianara and I'm going to set, I mean, to special summon Lurry from the hand. I go for the Econ Cheese, like I mentioned. Pretty nice play. Uh, he had Spike Shield with Chain, which wasn't really gonna help him against my uh, 3,000 beater. But, you know, got the win. Nice and easy. And like I said, this deck, it's... I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what it's lacking, man. I mean, you can't really pair it with... Uh, I mean, you can pair it with Dark Wolves, but Dark Wolves are better on their own. And, I don't know, it just feels kind of lame to throw in Dark Wolves uh, with Fable. That's why we went with Snipe Hunter instead. I hope the deck keeps getting some more cards so that we can, uh, you know, have some more fun with it. I, but I think right now it's it's more of uh, different techs. For example, Solkius I believe is a tech in uh, Grass is Greener decks, just because you know, like I mentioned, sometimes you want cards in the grave instead of your hand. So it's nice to be able to trade those for a special summon. And here we're going up against uh, what is this? Our mages? Oh no, this was uh, Sylvans. We sniped away the Rose Lover, we're gonna see the boy uh, Guard Oak, whatever. He's gonna mill 3, luckily he doesn't uh, hit any of my back row or any of my monsters. And I have an enemy controller, so I can either protect my monsters or I can save it for that uh, Econ Cheese. So I let him destroy both of my monsters. I pick up an Elephant, which is just easier than his actual name. Uh, we're gonna snipe away the face down, which was another Rose Lover. A monster is gonna be special summon. We go for the tie that binds, kill one of them, Econ Cheese, and now we can win through a Karibo. Nice and easy, pretty cheesy, but you know, it's Sylvans. They deserve it. That's my Valentine. We got Yugi Moto next. I try to make a uh, Karakuri deck. And unfortunately, I don't have any of the UR, which is the best monster of the archetype so far. So the deck I ended up making didn't really look like a Karakuri deck. I had to throw in uh, Sergeant Electros, so I didn't really want to bring it out. Um, but I'm hoping that you know I'll get some of those URs eventually. We'll go for the Dark World Dealings here to special summon uh, Ganashia. Now I can, if I wanted to, I could attribute it for uh, Dianara. Instead, I just set my Bacon Saber. I'm going up against Bujins, which unfortunately is running tie that bind, so he's able to get over my um, my Elephant over here. And I decide to go for the Snipe Hunter. It does betray me, however, so I have to use my uh, Dianara, which I wish I would have been able to keep in hand. And I go ahead and destroy the back row. Uh, because I can easily get over the uh, Yamato if I destroy the back row. Uh, turns out to be a good call because there was a draining shield back there. However, he has a second Bujin Yamato and he has Flank Spike, which is going to take him all the way up to 2700. So I'm pretty much done so right here. Uh, he's going to keep gaining advantage, but luckily for me, he can't really use his Centipedes because um, I'm not running a ton of back row. And I pick up a second Snipe Hunter, so I decide to hang on to that. And you know, just pray that <laughs> I can snipe him away during the next turn. I still had the bacon saver, so I wasn't really in danger of losing that turn. 
But yeah, I pick up uh, another Dayanara, so I snipe away the Yamato, hit that clutch 5, flip over my bacon savings, and go for with the game. Bacon saver for the win, my boys. Who says he's just graveyard, uh, graveyard food? And for the last duel, we got a Bandit Keith. And this duel was so satisfying. I mean, I realize my my deck list right now is not, you know, it's fr it's not free to play by any means, but it's not as wallet as full on uh, Dark Worlds. This guy had three dealings in his deck. He had three Lightning, three Snow, you know, all the the wallet uh, Dark World cards. He goes first. I decide to set my Bacon Saber, sensing some sort of threat, and that turns out to be super clutch. Uh, he snipes away my. Enemy controller. Trans Archfiend is gonna be is gonna go for the uh, you know the regular Ceruli into Rainbow. Gonna destroy my monsters, but I have Bacon Saber, so I can stop the attack, and I have Snipe Hunter. So now we show him how we uh, OTK the Fable way. Snipe away the Rainbow. Snipe away the Trans Archfiend and miss, of course, because you know. We gotta make it spicy, we gotta make it dramatic. We're gonna summon uh, the boy, snipe away once once more, we finally hit it. Go for the tie the tilts and finish the OTK. Get your wallet out of here. And yeah, that is how Fable OTK is my boys. Pretty uh pretty simple video. The deck, you know, it's nothing crazy like how Paleozoic's, Paleozoic's got, got a ton of love, so I do appreciate you guys uh, watching that video. I, I was very surprised at all the views it got. But this is my uh, Fable list, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Join my Discord if you haven't, the link will be down in the description. Along with my PayPal link, if you guys want to support my channel, support my content, really, really appreciate that. And till next time.